Alright, welcome back to my opinion. This little video is about a comment uh, I got a few days ago from a friend. Um, if you don't have a gun in your car, um, having a, a club or um, using your tire iron. Your tire iron because it's part of, you know, a, a tire changing kit and you can't get in trouble um, like you could in some areas if you have a fire alarm. And partially that's true, uh, but you, you, you really need to find out what the laws are on a uh, having a gun in the car uh, or anything else. Um, if you, if the only thing, if you live in a, a state or area where you cannot have anything other than a, something like a tire iron, because, you know, that's part of your tire changing kit, etc., that's fine. But just know this, if you are allowed to have a firearm, that means everyone else is allowed to have a firearm. Here's the problem. If you have to get out of your car and you're holding a club or a tire iron uh, and that other person, you know, maybe it's a road rage situation or worse, that other person has a gun, you're now carrying, you now have a deadly weapon in your hand. And if there's witnesses around, you could easily get shot. My recommendation is don't do anything like that. Drive off if you can. But if you're caught in a spot where you can't just drive off, um, there's something blocking you or something like that, or you're stuck in traffic, um, then your firearm is going to be the best tool for the job. Um, just make sure you're not the one instigating the, the situation, the problem. Make sure, you know, if someone's honking their horn at you, don't honk back, don't flip people off, don't do stuff like that. You just don't know what's going on inside that person's head. Maybe they lost their job, they went home to tell their wife and caught their wife in bed with another man. And now you're the last straw. You're you're the straw, you know, that broke the camel's back. Um, so just just be smart about stuff like that. Make sure that if you do have a weapon, you have to use it. You don't have any other choice. There's no other way out of that situation. Uh, otherwise, you could end up something stupid. Road rage is something that you would have forgot about five minutes after it happened. Think of the last road rage situation you had. Someone cut you off or something. You forgot about it five minutes after it happened. Why mess up and end up in jail or worse for something so silly? But anyway, that's just my opinion. Um, keeping a firearm in the car is the best tool possible if you can but remember it comes with ultimate uh, responsibility anyway like share and subscribe and stay safe and be safe